Are you looking to take your Minecraft videos to the next level with some cinematic shots of your builds? Or maybe some time-lapse footage of your next mega build in progress? If so, you have come to the right video. What's going on guys, I'm King Elfie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Replay Mod on your 1.18 Minecraft clients. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, head down below the video and hit that subscribe button as it helps my channel out more than you may know and it'll also help you stay up to date with my content and my live streams. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, let's get this tutorial going and as with all my tutorial videos, I'm starting with a fresh.minecraft folder. But for the replay mod, you will need three different things, and the first one that you're going to need is the fabric loader. So you can find that at fabricmc.net, which will be in the links down below. But just go to this link right here and click the download here button under installation. It'll bring you to this page right here, which has a few different buttons, but the only one you need to worry about is download universal jar. So click on that and it'll download this guy right here. After it's finished downloading, all you have to do is open the jar, so click on it and it will open this guy right here. So as long as you're installing it for the latest version of Minecraft, you don't actually have to do anything on here. If you're installing it for a previous version, just choose the version of Minecraft from the list here and hit install. It'll do all the work for you and then just hit OK and Fabric MC is downloaded. You can verify that by opening up your Minecraft launcher and if you see Fabric Loader 1.18.1 down here as an option, then it has been successfully installed. Once you have Fabric installed, you can move on to the next stage of getting Replay working, which is actually getting the Replay mod itself. So head to Replay Mod's website, which will be, once again, linked in the description down below, and it'll bring you to their main page here. So from here, you just hit the Download Now button, and it'll bring you to the Links page. Just find whichever version of Minecraft you're looking for, in our case 1.18.1, and hit the big Download button on the side. After a few seconds, it'll start the download, and that'll show up on your bar down here below, or if you're using a different browser in your downloads folder. Once the mod is finished downloading, you're going to hit the Windows button and R, which will bring up the Run menu right here, and you're going to type in percent app data percent, which is going to bring you to your roaming folder, which opened up on my second monitor, annoyingly enough. So it's going to bring you to this guy right here, and you're going to look for your .minecraft folder. If you don't have one, then just launch Minecraft and hit play, and it'll pre-generate for you. So open that guy up right there, and you're going to look for the mods folder. If you've pre-generated your Minecraft folder and you've never used mods before, it's not going to appear. So just hit new and new folder and create a mods folder. So after that's been created, just open up your mods folder and drag and drop the replay mod into that mods folder. Now that you have the replay mod in your mods folder, it's going to be a good idea to launch Minecraft and hit play just to make sure that everything is working and you don't have to go back to any of the previous steps. But, assuming that everything is worked up until this point, when it does load, you should see a indicator that fabric is loaded down in the bottom corner here, and you should also, beside the Minecraft Realms icon, see this replay viewer icon right here, which if you click on it, gives you all of your replay options that you'll need for when you're using the mod, but we'll get into all of those in a later video. Now, there's still one more step we need to take in order to make sure your replay mod works, because right now, if you were to try and render a video, you would get this error message right here. Replay mod requires FFmpeg in order to convert the replay file to an MP4 file or a MOV file or whatever you're going to use. So we still got to get that done. Now, in order to get FFmpeg, you're going to need to head back to your browser and head to FFmpeg's website, which will once again be linked in the description down below. And one thing I'd like to address right off the bat, in other videos that I've made for replay mod, people have expressed concerns about FFmpeg. I would like to assure you that FFmpeg is completely safe. It is used in all Linux distributions for video conversion. And also, if you're ever concerned about a website, then head to this little lock in the top corner if you're using Chrome, and just verify that the website is certified. If it is, then you don't have anything to worry about for the most part. But in order to download FFmpeg, head to their website, hit this big download button on the side here, and if you're using Windows like I am, then hover over Windows to get the Windows builds for FFmpeg, and just head to this first link here. It's going to bring you to this website right here, which has all the download links for FFmpeg. So scroll down to the release build section and then just choose FFmpeg release essential. You can get the full build if you'd like, but you don't necessarily need it. And I would suggest going with the .zip file as all Windows computers can open a .zip file, whereas a 7-zip file, you're gonna need 7-zip or WinRAR or something to open it. So click on this guy right here and it's gonna start the download. 
After it's finished downloading, what you're going to want to do is head to your file explorer and head to this PC. You're going to want to head to your C drive now and open up program files 86. From here, you're going to want to extract the contents of this folder to your program files 86, however you'd like to do that. The way I like to do it is by opening up the zip folder and just dragging the folder in there, but you can also use the extract function. You're going to have to give it administrator permission because you're using program files 86. Don't worry about that, just head on and hit continue. After you've extracted your FFmpeg folder to program files 86, this is going to be important. Rename the folder to just FFmpeg, otherwise you're going to have issues later on in the process. So just FFmpeg is fine for now. After you have FFmpeg, you're going to have to do a little bit of prep on the Minecraft side. So just make a world and head into it and make a short replay footage of this world. If you've freshly installed Replay Mod, it should start recording immediately. If it doesn't, then there's going to be a start and stop record button down here. Let that run for a few seconds and then stop it and save and quit. Now head to your replay viewer and head into that small replay that you made and just pause it. So you're going to need a short replay footage to test things out on. So in order to release your cursor, press T, that way it comes up. A lot of people ask about that. So T is to release your cursor and just drop two keyframes and timeframes at random points in the timeline here. That way you can try rendering a video. After you've dropped those keyframes, hit the save button here and it's going to bring up this window right here. So scroll down to the command line settings here and you're going to have to input a command line into this section right here. Where am I going to get that command line you may ask? You're actually going to get that from the FFmpeg folder. So you're going to head back to your program files 86 wherever your FFmpeg is and you're going to open up that folder. And from there you're going to head to the bin folder and you're going to find the FFmpeg application. Click on that, right click it, and hit properties. That'll bring up this right here, and what you need is this location of the file. So the entire thing, copy paste that, head back to your Minecraft, and paste it inside that command line area. Now there's just one last thing to do, you're going to have to add another backslash here, and type in ffmpeg.exe. So this is basically providing Minecraft access to FFmpeg, that way it can convert your file into an mp4. After you have that command line done, if you hit the render button, everything is going to go smoothly. There we go, we're rendering our video. And with that, FFmpeg and Replay and Fabric are all installed on your computer. And that concludes our tutorial, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys learned a thing or two from this, and I hope you guys were able to get it working. If not, leave a comment down below, and the community can probably help you out. I know that's how it's worked in my previous videos, and hopefully it'll work in this one too. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all of my content and my live streams and whatnot. In the near future here, I am going to be launching a replay tutorial series. That way I can break down every aspect of replay one by one, and make some short tutorial videos on how to use each different thing in the replay mod. Hopefully that'll enable you guys to make some pretty cool stuff and it'll be really cool to see some more content creators using replay mod. So I'm going to log off for now. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.